My name is Mark Brains. I live in the Garden Route in South Africa, and it's my pleasure to present to you the Eco Analysts module entitled Creating Your Own Website. In this module, we will learn everything about creating your own website. A website that is uniquely yours, with simple, interactive lessons that will guide you every step of the way. If you require any help, or if you have any questions while you are following this course, then please have a look at our website, eco-training.co.za. Here I will offer detailed explanations on how our training courses work, and there is a place under each lesson to ask questions. That is if you are a paid member. If you are a free member, then we suggest you send us an email to admin at eco-training.co.za. I'm sure you are itching to get started with this module and your first lesson. But before we begin, I feel it's important to set the outcomes for this module and show you what we offer and what you are going to learn. Here is a breakdown of the lessons that make up this module. Lesson 1 is the welcome and the overview. Lesson 2 is the domain name availability. Lesson 3 is registering with Cyber Region. Lesson 3A is for moving your existing domain to Cyber Region. Lesson 4 is all about the control panel and your first backup. Then in lesson 5, we are going to install Joomla. In lesson 6, it's the Joomla backend and templates. Lesson 7, we're going to cover the word editor and articles. In lesson 8, we're going to add articles and images to our domain. Lesson 9 is advanced article management. And in lesson 10, the closing lesson, we're going to show you how to set up your email. This list of lessons makes up this training module and will give you the correct grounding and knowledge to create and manage your own website. That's a very empowering and independent thing to do, as it is your own creation and you can put all your vision and ideas into this creation. So why is it so important to create your own website, you might ask? When you have your own company and you need to go out and see clients to ensure you get business and contracts for the products or services that you offer, or you need to send an email to a prospective customer or client, you will need an email address. Now, you can have a generic one like james at hotmail.com or sarah at gmail.com which does not look professional at all. In fact, clients will think twice about wanting to buy from you or utilize your services if they see these generic email addresses. That is why you need a personalized email address like james at yourcompanyname.co.za An example would be james at carbonfootprint.co.za if your company was called Carbon Footprint. Whatever appears after the at symbol is called a domain name. An example of this is our domain, which is eco-training.co.za. A domain in computer terms is a group of computers and devices on a network that are administered under the same protocol. A domain name is the name that people especially your potential customers and clients, will type into their computer web browser to find your website, which is your window to the internet and the cyber world. Choosing a domain name, just like choosing a name for your company, is a very personal and individual choice. So choosing the best possible domain name can make a significant difference to visitors and customer traffic. By including keywords in your domain name, you can improve your search engine listings. Let me give you a few tips on domain names. Your domain should be short as possible. For example, www.eco.co.za 
Your domain should also include the name of your company, for example ours, which is www.ecoanalysts.co.za. Your domain should be easy to remember or find, for example google.com. Your domain should be easy to be understood when spoken aloud. For example, domain names like many might be heard as many or even many. Your domain should include your most important keywords. For example, eco-analysts.co.za. Some search engines give better listings to sites that include important keywords in their domain names. Spend some time thinking of keywords that people might search for when looking for what you have to offer. Then, once you have decided on which domain name to use, you will need to decide on which extension to use. Now, an extension is the few letters that appear after your domain name. In our case, the extension we chose to use is .co.za. This shows everyone that our organization is in South Africa. Other examples are .com for American or international companies, .org for organizations, .co.uk for companies in the United Kingdom, and .nl for companies in the Netherlands. We think that .co.za is best to use for South African companies. The rest of the world use .com or their own country code. If you really want to sell to overseas people as your main source of income, or you do not want people to know which country you live in, then .com is a better idea. To begin with, we suggest that you stick with the extension that is default to your country. A good way to test your domain name is to use the telephone test. This is a good way to check if people can hear your domain name easily and that it's not too difficult to spell. This is so that people can find you easily. Please take the time now to think of a good name for your company, for your domain, as well as your domain extension. Once you have your own domain, you can have your own personalized email address, which is much better and much more professional than a Hotmail or another generic address. And when you have your own domain name in mind and you would like to begin using it, you need to find a company to host this domain on their computers. This kind of company is called an Internet Service Provider. Much like Vodacom and Virgin are mobile phone service providers that host your personal cell phone number on their network. We at EcoAnalysts use a company called Cyber Region as our internet service provider because they are 100% environmentally friendly and they power their computers with renewable energy captured from the wind. We would love you to use them too because they show that they really care for the environment and have a very low carbon footprint. So now you have chosen a name for your company and a name for your domain. The next step is for you to request your service provider to register your domain in order to activate your domain and new email address. When they host your domain, you will need to pay them a fee for this, just like you would pay Vodacom or Virgin to allow you to use your mobile number on their network. When your domain is up and running and you have registered it with the chosen service provider, it's time for you to make a choice. You can either get a company to create your website for you, or you can do it yourself. The benefit of doing it yourself is that you have full control of your website and you can change or update it whenever you like without having to pay someone else to do it for you. It's important to keep your website fresh and up to date with your growth and development because if your website stays the same for a year or so, people will stop going there. So you need to update it at least every six months to keep it vibrant, alive and reflect all the growth and changes happening within your business. 
This can get very costly, as companies that design websites can charge a lot of money for this type of work. So, now we have lots of decisions to make. So let's just take a moment and take a deep breath and ponder these wonderful words. The Dalai Lama once said, we share the earth not only with our fellow human beings, but with all the other creatures. There is a word that you need to get used to immediately, as it's a very important aspect to creating your website. Now the word is Joomla. What is Joomla and what does it mean? Joomla is an award-winning content management system, or CMS, which enables you to build your own websites and create powerful online applications. Because of its many aspects, which include ease of use and extensibility, Joomla is the most popular website creation software available. And the best thing about Joomla is that it's an open source solution which is freely available to everybody who wants to use it. And now I can hear you asking, so what is a content management system? A content management system is software that keeps track of every piece of content on your website. Much like your local library keeps track of all the books and stores them for you. Content can be simple text, photos, music, videos, documents, or just about anything you can think of. A major advantage of using a CMS is that it requires almost no technical skill, no technical knowledge to manage. Because the CMS manages all your content, you don't have to, and this makes creating your website very easy. Joomla is used all over the world to power different kinds of websites, all shapes and sizes. Some examples of Joomla uses are corporate websites or portals, corporate intranets and extranets, online magazines, newspapers, publications, e-commerce and online reservations, government applications, small business websites, non-profit and organizational websites, community-based portals, school and church websites, and the list goes on and on. Here are a few sites that have been created using Joomla. Go and check them out and see if you notice how flexible and individual these sites are. Here in our course, Creating Your Website, we will show you how to register your domain with Cyber Region, set up your email addresses, and then how to design your own website. We are really looking forward to empowering you and allowing you to access your creativity and your unique and individual skills and abilities in creating your website. Until next time, remember to reduce, reuse and recycle for the sake of our beautiful Mother Earth and all who live in her. Goodbye.